Have you ever wondered how you should build and engage your personal network? Are you overwhelmed by information from new technologies or political events? A personal ecosystem helps to manage a high rate of change by extending the way you learn and execute onto a network of people. In his book, The Death of Competition, James F. Moore describes the Muppets creator Jim Henson's way of engaging the personal network as a personal ecosystem. The challenges that Jim Henson had to address, such as management complexity, would be familiar to many professionals. Hard problems such as new business models, changing business boundaries, technology discontinuities, ecosystem competition, the limits of traditional hierarchies, and managing new, flat organizational structures are things Jim Henson addressed by using his network. He needed his network to scan information in the environment, analyze it, and then take action on the plans that were developed. The solution that Jim Henson came up with could be described as an extended learning system. This system increased his personal capacity beyond anything he could accomplish by himself. It allowed him to make higher quality decisions in less time. The components of the personal ecosystem, as described by James Moore, were three categorizations used for each person in the network. These were the kitchen cabinet, the analysts, and the agents. A fourth component existed as a role for Jim himself as the sole person responsible for the tough choices. The kitchen cabinet contains trusted friends, allies, idea people, and what David Meister in his book Professional Service Firms calls brains. This category of the network serves a wide range of purposes such as diplomacy, emotional support, and the ability to tackle unsolved problems. Kitchen cabinet members are more about trying to get the question right and less about trying to answer the question or carry out tasks. People in the kitchen cabinet are normally engaging in brainstorming in order to come up with or refine a hypothesis. Analysts are people who are experts that can live internal or external to your immediate organization. For David Meister, these people are called gray hairs and they have experience doing what you want to accomplish. You can think of this category as having the ability to quickly apply their real world experience to your idea, hence taking a wider view of the picture when giving you feedback. They can also be thought of as giving you the right answer, but less in the role of forming the right question. The analyst normally is too busy or uninterested in carrying out the specific tasks for your idea. When you present your idea or hypothesis to an analyst, they test it against their knowledge and validate it against what they already know to be true. This is the type of person that you may want to buy lunch for and, while eating, end up getting a detailed answer in a short amount of time. Agents are individual talents, accomplished managers, and specialists at doing procedural work. They are able to execute tasks reliably, consistently, and efficiently. You pay agents for the tasks that they do, and they bring your plans to life. In order to create a personal ecosystem, you start with creating a list of people and put them into each of the three categories. People in the kitchen cabinet should not be the type of people that will kill your idea while it's still on the vine. Analysts should probably be too busy or expensive to actually carry out your projects for you. If they aren't, that's a good indication that you should try to reach higher and get the next level expert in your network. Move up from the best in the city, to the best in the country, to the best in the world. Agents should be paid if you expect instant results, so only list those people that you feel are appropriate here. Engage your personal ecosystem in different contexts in order to exercise its ability to filter large amounts of information. You can try posing ethical, political, and civic questions that relate to your professional life to your ecosystem and see what questions and answers form.